We're totally the good guys, we swear! As, uh, says wandering his leap. <laughs> Alright, so welcome everybody to the final part of Shadow of the Colossus, where we finally take down our final adversary. Mario. Oh, where is it? Mario. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's right oh, in front of us. Hmm, similar to how Argus was. Wait, the Colossus itself or the door to him? Well, it's in front of us as in we just have to walk forward, but obviously there's mountains in the way. So. No, I told you that. Were you referring to the Colossus or the way to the boss? Both of Both. them, uh, keep Both. in mind. It's, it's, it's indicating a general uh, airline. So I was wondering, imagine if he's like as big as one of those titans in Xenoblade Chronicles that you can see in the distance. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry, Jova. We will see it uh, in the distance when we'll get to it. Uh, but we have to get to, we have to get uh, to that play point in the first place. Uh. All right. See the he, and surprisingly, he's not the farthest away. <laughs> no. Yeah, again, surprisingly. For this, it's for the sake of climat climatic uh, yeah. tension. Why again, you uh, think the, that you know the, they the, would have. That's uh, also one other thing. Uh, the game has not, uh, well, aside from the minor alteration in the speech of Dormin, the game has not uh, built up too much. I mean, this is the final confrontation, guys. We're getting to the final boss and everything. There's no super secret fight uh, at the end or, or anything like that. Uh, this is basically the final hit, but the game is treating it uh, routinely, kind of like every everything else. Uh, again, yeah, another yeah. way of telling indirectly. Uh, the meanings behind this game and uh, the message that he tries to portray. But again, I'll be much more detailed uh, during the credits. Uh. I will. Be, I've got. A, I've got a minute. I won't be surprised if there is another boss to come after boss number sixteen. Again, Java. Surprisingly, no. Okay. There, we, we don't have uh, super secret bosses. This is not a JRPG in that kind of way. No, mm. I'm as like, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a true final boss that no. comes after. No, we're, we're just going to fight the Colossus and that's it. Oh, we'll get the why do I get the feeling something it. bad's going to happen still? Well, Jova, why are you having Oh, come on, Jova, what, what could possibly go wrong? I mean, I mean just mean... look at Wonder. Have you, have you not seen Wonder's face? He's the, he's the healthiest person have you ever seen now. Not only that, but I gotta say, guys, Dorman sounds like the absolute most trustworthy companion. I know, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Never mind, <laughs> uh, never mind the fact we have never actually seen him in his face or something. Or that he's not really that helpful outside of just pointing us towards a cause and whatnot. Oh, by the way, oh, by the way, could you go and kill these 16 individuals for me? Okay, thanks. Please. Yeah, a, a common head canon for people before being engaged in game was Frank he was thinking that uh, uh, Wonder was just hallucinating the entire thing. Not on a visionary level, but basically Dormin was, was just a voice in his head. But trust me, to go kill these giant beings so that he could feel better about him. But trust me, Jova, no, Dormin is very real, I can tell you that. I it, wonder, what if Dormin himself is a colossus who wanted to get rid of the competition? We'll hmm. see. Discs Don't two, worry, three, Jova, we're getting closer. Discs 2, 3, and 4 were all an hallucination, don't you know? <laughs> anyway, what's that a reference to? Final Fantasy VIII to fan theories, but which were wow. very wicked. We got to a point where years later, Kitao's had to the bunk, uh, personally. Funny, that's the same game where people also theorize that everyone's dead in the end. It's not even just that, Jova. I've always been saying throughout all these years up until Kitao's debunked that, uh, actually, guys, if you ask me, that makes it worse. That actually pisses me off more. If anything, I came across a theory the other day that actually makes sense without altering too much the game. It just makes you look things from our perspective. But again, it's a spoiler territory for that game itself, and it's not the place to talk. All right, to you. so here's the door that leads to the final Colossus. Notice my directing. So we have to put our light to it. And there you go. I'm sure Finn's will be so, suicide. Oh yeah, it will be suicide. We're going to kill the Colossus, we're going to revive our girl, and we're just going to leave triumphantly. Walk in the sunset and everything. Right? I have to wonder. Are you How sure about that? What was that line that uh, Yuri said, uh, Jova? Tense atmosphere is a forebode is foreboding of something bad to happen. Uh, yeah. Alright. And then and then something that probably more people have seen, you'll be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say we didn't warn you. All right. There's even all I'm these hyped. steps to climb I'm... as you're thinking about your decisions. I'm, feel I'm feeling confident, guys. 
Let's yes. let, let's run our way there. Yeah, I mean, come on. This one will probably be a pushover. Yeah. Uh, Agro, will you power cooperate? Agro? <laughs> there you go. Agro Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Well, there's obviously no turning back now. No, don't tell me. Bye, Agro. Maybe she's okay. I mean, to Otherwise, be fair, we... would you like uh, if uh, the final season of Speed Riding 3 ended like this? Uh? I would yeah. very much. <laughs> Theo, that's kind of yes. how the. Theo, I hate to say it, that's how the start of season 3 goes, and yet he still lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <sighs> Feel sorry you for our protagonist. I hope you're proud of yourself. Like, again, was it really worth it? Wonder. You've now lost your best companion. That's actually at the end of a, You're going to... That's a, that, that's yes, you, turning back, yeah. yeah. Yes, you can save your girl, but at what cost, Wonder? At what cost? Yeah, again, Jova, Jova that's the recurring question of this entire game. Seriously. How much Wonder does want to push himself? Seriously, he just said the Super Mario World is companion. <laughs> that's actually true. I'm gonna add that also to my final thoughts, uh, because that's very relevant. Yeah. I'm sorry, Yoshi! <laughs> All right, let's climb our way there. Then. In the final climb, and uh, I think right about after that we'll be able to just pot to the Colossus. So. That reminds me, in the next part, we're gonna see what it's like at the top of the building we usually go back to. Oh, the yes, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I wonder, maybe if we beat this Colossus, Agra will also be teleported back with us, saving zone. Mm. We'll see. I'm just sure. hoping. I mean, he's very dead, Jova. So like, there is, there back. is no post game. Like when you, when you, yeah. when you beat the game, the game just restarts, uh, basically, like uh, on New Game Plus, basically. But uh, you can literally repeat, and every time the game repeats, you always carry over whatever stat boosts you got from killing Colossi and getting lizards and eating fruit. Lovely. Which is why I always recommend newcomers to this game to start on easy. So they can, you know, get used to the mechanics and all that shit, and then eventually do normal, and then do a hard mode. Uh, th that way, uh, they will be able to handle hard mode a lot better. Alright, fellas, uh, get your um, your umbrellas ready, because it's getting rainy. In the original oh, game... Why did have to die first? Akra is the only innocent one in any of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, poor Akra. Suddenly Akra. a thunderstorm. Wait. Is that him? This isn't ominous at all, is Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> He's standing right behind us, isn't he? Or Ladies and gentlemen, meet the 16th Colossus. Malus of the Celestial Tower. Oh, he's literally called oh, the so tower. Oh, so it's an actual living building. That's the thing, he cannot move. But trust me when I say this, he can defend for himself. So. I, I, don't, I don't think it matters. Oh, really. so he's Chernabog. Dun, 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 well, it gives kind of that feeling, but uh, as the thing, uh, don't underestimate it just because it can't move. Because the soon as it spots you, it's gonna fire laser, or oh, already immediately, it's gonna try firing lasers at you. And climbing him must well, more be... like far... Sorry, go ahead. Well, but, like electric how... beams, uh, but yeah. And... And climbing him is probably going to be the other half of the fun. So yeah. The challenge is trying reaching it without having to use this particular strategy that it's recommended to use. And even better, because it's raining, it's slippery. So yeah, obviously we have to get to him somehow. The problem is, he can attack us from a huge distance with those beams. So make sure to always take cover in between shots. Also, right. have you even noticed uh, this is the only battle theme we're getting for this, and it's much more somber and uh, less epic than uh, any other music that has been happening so far. There we go. Uh, anyway, what I, well, I was saying earlier, when uh, in the original game, and even on the PS3 remaster, when you do a new game plus, you can only start a new game plus in the you can only the new game plus only carries over into the level of difficulty that you started the original uh, file with. However, in this remake, you can switch difficulties every time you re you start a new game plus, so you can carry over your progress from an, an easy mode into the harder modes, making the game a lot more accessible to newcomers. All right, 
Yeah. This was this was probably not like how I envisioned it to be, was it? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh crap! Again, the particular challenge uh, that some people manage to accomplish is trying to reach it, reach Malus, uh, at least the Malus foot, uh, without uh, losing yes. your life from the beams. It's much harder than it looks. So. He has a foot. Well, fit actually. We cannot move, but he still has a base uh, fit. If you notice, uh, the tower portions are kind of like a dress, like a gown that is uh, very. Uh, All right, this particular section is the hardest part. Uh, you have you have to try your best to get around. You can't just roll from one barrier to the other like I was doing the last time. You have to first walk and then dodge roll. You cannot just use it because he will. the distance between each barrier is far greater. So make sure you... Uh, my hint to you is wait till he fires two shots because he usually fires two shots and then he takes a bigger break. There you go. Yeah. See, there you go. And, I, way, still, and I still and I still barely made it. <laughs> By the way, he doesn't care that you're behind the cover. He's not gonna wait. He's still barraging you all yeah. the time. I gotta wonder, so wait, so are his feet literally fused to the ground if he apparently... Yeah. So... Kind of, or maybe it's too heavy to actually move. Don't you have to climb down? Oh, let me guess, it's gonna be part where you have to climb down because one of his weak points is on his... No, he only has one weak point, his head. Actually, oh, yeah, yeah the, pr the problem is that you need to reach it. Very good. Oh, right. there's his feet. So yeah, we finally actually reached the boss. So there you go. Climb up. Oh god, we're inside a skirt. Just don't look up, Wonder. It's oh. either something ugly there, or it's the cosmos of the galaxy in this dress. <laughs> this ain't Rosalina. <laughs> Alright. It seems simple enough. Oh, uh, yeah, once you reach this point, the Colossus doesn't start to defend the properly in a sense that at least it stops the laser barrage. Well, right? He can't see you. Um, at, at least on the basic. Well, but don't worry, he he's not going to give up that easily. He's, he, can, as he, as he, he, he does not realize that we're climbing him yet because obviously we're in the metal part of it, but when we get to the fur part, obviously that's when he notices us. Oh. All right. Huh. I wonder if Wonderson can, you know, uh, everything aside, maybe this will be a piece of cake. It's a thing. Uh, it's again, once again, the way characterization is portrayed. Wonder is silently and full with full of determination, just moving on yeah. onto his objective. Oh, look at that! We found. All right, the steps. On the belly. Okay, let's ah. do. It. Oh boy, now we're well, actually, it's in the back the too. Moves. All right, I made my mistake. Inspired. Ooh. After but, you well, after you do this, jump on his palm. Huh? Easy way up. Or yep. is it? But we've just begun, Jova, in uh, exploiting his weaknesses. We've just begun. Oh God, he's got. Well, we, need, we don't need to get on the hand. Okay, you can stop contemplating your hand now. Jesus Christ! He's trying to find <laughs> us. There you go. All right. Here's a hint to you. If you stab his hand he will actually stop moving it. So, the, the game does not tell you this. This is something you have to figure out on your own uh, from experimentation. Um, there you go, now stab this. Oh, there you go. Now, how do we get past those? Now, well... Don't worry, Joe. Oh, uh... oh, crap, I missed it. Let's jump in. There we go. Does it hurt there? Again, this is his Imperial, especially in hard mode. In order to get him to stop moving his hand so you can actually stand on it, stab him with a sword, even if there's not actually there, it, uh, as we've shown earlier, like stabbing the cause of art always does something at least. There you go, now that he's stopped, what? now I can use my arrows to that point there. There you go, oh crap. And now Let he'll and now we'll tend to, to that pain that he has. There we go. Jesus Let Christ. Me if he shakes you off, it's game over. Basically, yeah. Because you're falling from a distance too high. And there you go, you're just exactly where you want to be. Ha <laughs> ha, any last words? Oh, oh well, God. the last attempt will be shaking violently, but, well... Fortunately... That's what, what remains of him to have right for now. him, he can't really move as much as the other ones could. Yeah. 
unfortunately, uh, it's very easy to recover stamina if you need to, because uh, there's very solid ground even on his head. So as long as you're not stabbing him, you should be able to find a, spot, a point where he, he stops moving his head and you'll be able to stand up and uh, recover your stamina if need be. So if you manage to reach his head, as long as you're patient and you don't try anything funny, you should be fine. Yeah, it's yeah like... this, is, this is not one of the hardest boss fights compared to the previous ones. Huh. It's still challenging, but it's much uh, fair. The challenge is more in figuring out what you're supposed to do, because obviously I already know beforehand what you're supposed to do. But uh, obviously trying to figure out... Navigating this thing seems And regardless, like, yeah. it seems like he is definitely the toughest. I mean, okay, maybe not the toughest, but it seems like he's the boss that definitely takes the longest to take out, if you know what you're doing. Yeah, this boss, of course, will I... be the one that um, will take you the longest to fight to defeat Keep the first time. Keep in mind, time. in size, people have measured the phalanx, he's still bigger, technically. Wait, phalanx just is bigger a... than this guy? Yeah, How just so? compared it on a matter of length. Uh, basically, imagine if phalanx was measured vertically instead of just horizontal. Totally. Really? I guess I that's mean, the one where you'd have to think about each move, you know, the most. Weird. Really. I mean, I could have sworn that this guy is definitely bigger there's, than. Let me, let me give you. There's an official chart that people made. Was it made? Me... Was it made by Nomad the Colossus or? I it, it, it's it's a ripping off a straight ripping off the model. I compare with them. Ah. Wait, I mean, I could have sworn that this guy was taller than Phalanx. I mean, like, oh, I mean, oh, wait. Do people not count, you know, his skirt and legs? No, 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 they count everything. Really? There go. Maybe it's about a scale, then. Hmm, let's see. Uh. Yeah, I think this guy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Phalanx. Isn't. Wait. It... Balance is the dragon. dragon, yeah, the 2 oh, one. Oh, 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 okay, I thought you were talking about the first boss. Jesus Christ, stop for a second. We're trying to murder you quietly Yeah, here. Phalanx, in terms of sheer length, uh, Phalanx is definitely... size. Yeah, he's definitely the, 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 uh, the, 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 the... But this one is the second, like I mentioned. But this one is the... But it makes sense, he's the most climatic. But this one definitely is the one that definitely has the most presence. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's not just a matter of simple size, but how it's used. Please be careful while we while we proceed to stab you. I guess. <laughs> this is all for <laughs> this is for your benefit, please. Indeed. It's Don't you good know good I'm the good guy? Really. Don't you know I'm the good guy? <laughs> just stop it. Look, oh, look, I lost my horse, so there yeah, that go. gives me the hero certificate I for I lost murder. my horse, so somebody else is gonna die, you know? I mean, look. I lost my horse and they held you responsible for it. Yeah. Wow, you go. guy even can't death, even uh, fall down yeah, properly. Yeah, even in death you cannot fall. Life must have sucked Whee. this guy. And there you go. Oh god! god. I'm, flying. Uh, I'm flying! I'm oh. flying! Uh, uh, even fall off uh, Please don't look behind the man in the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, that also or, happens in the original game. That's just... Yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Time for the to finally catch up. And yeah. there we go, those mysterious men finally reached the Forbidden Lands. Alright, Thorman, I want my bitch. Reviver. Please. Hmm. Proceed with caution. Yes, there's a fact of stairs to do. By the way, there is also a bit of symbolism in these stairs, but again, I'll mention it. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's also a thing that's common in video games, but I'll mention it during the credits. Uh oh. Well. Mm, that's no good. Lord Emmon! That's what he's called, by the way. 
Well, there you go, just in time. Oh, shit. Okay. And now this is the part where Wonder gets teleported, right? No. Eh? Hey, guys! Uh, was she a virgin? Just checking. We don't know, and for the context, uh, we don't really need to know that. Well, you know, the sacrifice There you go, part. Jova. Just like uh, on occasion, the storms eventually have to go away Wait. and... But why to... are we still here? Just to suffer. No, I mean, shouldn't Wonder have been teleported back? Something oh, don't like worry, Jova. Was... Any second now. Any second now. But we kind of need to check him first. There, there you go. go, that's kind of what happens. Dormy just picks him up from the air and teleports him. Aww. That's what happens all the time. You actually were helpful. So he's actually passed out there for a lot longer than we think. But... Maybe there's a reason, Shiro. Let's see. Eh? What the f- Wouldn't it oh. suck if they managed to cure her from dying? Hey, there you go, the sword just uh, flinched itself away. For some reason. Oh crap. Oh! Yeah, that's not good. What? I don't believe this. So it was you after all. Have you any idea what you've done? Not only did you steal the sword and trespass upon this cursed land, you used the forbidden spell as well. Forbidden? be reduced to such a sight. You were only being used like a damn fiddle. Oh boy, his eyes. They and look the like Lord. that of a colossus. Eradicate the source of evil. Look, he's possessed by the dead. Wait, so they were possessing him? Hurry up and do it! Who? Oh. Um, Notice he has horns. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. This detail was uh, not oh. that noticeable in the original version. So basically, you're telling me that the class I we've been Better killing. Better to pull him out of his misery than to exist, cursed as he is. You'll see, Joe. Hold on. It become it will become clear in a moment. Is the problem? Well, yeah, they were about basically, Jova. That's our reward. We're about to get killed. Dorman? Any help here? Nah. Well, that's the thing, Jova. Uh, they used the wrong sword. Yeah. Yeah, you're. St oh, oh god. He is turning into a colossus, isn't he? Hold on. Holy crap. He, he, is he even human anymore? Well, well, remember, he we said sailed that, a few colossi ago. Not just that, we said he's possessed by the dead, so maybe the he's more prevalent now. Like I'm saying, the dead are probably the colossi. Don't worry, Jova. If it's not that clear, I'll explain more to it. Uh, In a couple seconds. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the thing. Even yeah. in his state, uh, he still wants to get laid. <laughs> Can you blame him? Dude, now uh, is not the time. After all of I this. I killed 16 monsters for this. I've earned this. Uh oh. And that's not good, is it? No. Well, well, well. We well. fucked up. And look at that.
So anyone want to get a burrito? Well, does she at least get to live for all, for after all this? Hold on. Well, we'll look at that, Jova. Does, does that look what, like? What do you think, you? Jova? So would that mean that Dorman just lied to us? More than you can imagine. There's an I ancient being, Jova. And there you they go. Lie. They're assholes. Uh... There you go, Jova. You were kind of right, but not really. He does not Let become a turn. colossus. He becomes dormant. All of them. <gasps> Wait, what? Uh, thou severed our body into 16 segments for an eternity in order to seal away our power. There you go. The colossi Asai were segments of his power, and by killing them, we freed Dorman. And now Dorman is so, possessing us. Oh. He's so I was on to something. I played you no, like I a damn this. fiddle, didn't I? <laughs> we have borrowed the body of this warrior. Borrowed? He's getting it back? <laughs> I prefer the term borrow. And so even go, in death, you like to make so yourself think you're the good guy. Basically, the Colossi were actually working for him. Did, well, actually, actually, no, actually, no, Joe, but the Colossi were holding Please his, po his power. Before it's too late. The Colossi were actually holding his power in check, Jova. It was, but the the, the the Colossi were guarding the uh, Dorman's imprisonment, technically. Those pigments uh, that possessed the wonder at the end uh, were the actual fragments of Dormin. Yeah. They were. I wonder, wonder, wonder act so as the, killing you. Wonder and now we're actually playing as Dorman. Holy cow! So I was right. We are gonna That's play the as. Thing, um... Oh. Um, well, it's a thing. The, the, these humans are a bit too agile. They tend to get away. And hey, we... stand still so I can burn you with my fire. So what happens if you lose? Uh, you cannot lose. Uh, eventually they'll just run away. Yeah, they realize that finding you is a bad choice. They will just uh, remember what what uh, Lord Demon said. Uh, just place a seal over the exit. Basically, we're gonna try a last attempt, this last ditch attempt for this. And the girl will remain dead. So yeah, it's like I called it. Dormant well, Wonder, I hope you're proud of yourself. Yeah. yeah. What did you learn today? Don't, to don't, the, the, don't trust just, weird just, voices just like, that tell you to kill people. Not just that, you should have learned from Cuphead. Don't make deals with the devil. Yeah. That's, that's schizophrenia, isn't it? <laughs> Also, you may have noticed how, um, even during the transformation, the Dormin now possessed Wander was still trying to look for his girlfriend. Yep. Again, the single determination factor. That he, that and yet, it went as well as a genus side away, route does. Run away. The power of Bona is uh, something. That's what they say, Jova. Love makes you do crazy things. And thus, yep. hope seemed lost for the Forbidden Lands. When suddenly, the animator had a fatal heart attack and Dorman disappeared. <laughs> How the heck are we gonna get out of this? We're dead. Fortunately, We're fortunately Lord Ammon has one last resort. Yeah. I mean, that sword manages the Colossi might as well be useful for this. Yeah, he's well. gonna use the sacred sword to literally, and, and he's also gonna use that pool of water to literally banish everything that is evil. And by that we mean everything. So, wouldn't that be fitting? The very sword used to free Dormin will be his undoing. Yeah, pretty much. But let me guess, Emin has to sacrifice himself well, to do this. be gone, foul beast! From Mel's heart, I throw you the fuck out. Really? Huh. There you go. A beam of light that is going to literally absorb and destroy anything that is evil in the vicinity. An instant dormant repellent! Not repellent, destroyer, but yeah. You know Lord what I mean. Caesar, yeah. No, but I came so close. And it would have been, it would have uh, so gone away if it wasn't for time. those meddling villagers. No! No, but uh, we go. No. We go. The music is also fitting. This oh, is the and music they're still trying to get the girl, isn't it? Yes, hey, he is. Go. All right, uh, that's all right. Now Wait, he's, he's slightly reverted back to Wonder. Go ahead, Joker. <laughs> Whatever you yeah. want to improvise. 
I don't know. Do they still keep in this remake the trophy when you can yes. get uh, if you resist or basically yes. you can grip to the floor, particularly here. If you manage to resist or I think one minute a minute and a half, I think a minute. Uh, I mean it. Uh, you get a trophy. Basically. In the original PS3 get... version, yes. However, that trophy was is not in the PS4 remake. Oh, that's what, I, yeah, what, that's what is in the PS4 remake, however, is if you manage to survive for one minute, you gain an extra uh, thing in the in the extra section. But it's there not a trophy. That's where you can climb. But it's still there the same thing, just a different reward. Yeah. Unfortunately, eventually your grip meter will go out. Even if you do grab into the stairs, you'll just eventually lose. So yeah. Karma. Well, That's I mean, you, you see, the lesson here is, if someone, if a weird force that you've never met before tells you to kill people, maybe you should not should not do it. Or maybe. cross-reference. <laughs> run away, run away! Oh, that was sad. So, I guess his girlfriend's just gonna stay there and rot now. Pretty much. And... We'll see. And this makes sure that the Forbidden Lands are never visited again. Yeah, they're, mean... they're taking down the bridge with them so that they can make sure that nobody can visit this place ever again. I wonder though, what's the point now that Dorman's pretty much kaput? You're never too sure, Jono. They want to make sure. Boy, it's gonna suck if it turns out his girlfriend wakes up after all this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? She just wakes up. Oh, Wonder, what have you be? Oh. Wonder, I'm actually okay, and you look uh, Not to mention, Jova, <laughs> think about also this. We have never seen things from her perspective. For all we know, she didn't even love him, for all we know. We were given no context right. on the history they used to have. All we know is that Wonder was adamant in resurrecting her, and that he was in love with her. But we don't we don't even know if it was that mutual. We can only assume, to say. Oh, and you and son there, of a... Turns Dormin, out, Dorman did actually then up his end of the, the bargain, yeah. <laughs> so, great, she's alive, but she's stranded. Have fun! So, did she actually love him? Well, That's the thing, Jova, again, we can only assume... We can res we can re sorry, Jova, I have to resort to fan fiction for that one. Either way, well, hey. That actually gives um, another layer to the context of this entire story. But again, I'm just waiting the credits. So now, what does she do? Ah, that's a very, that's a very good Wait. question. She's stuck over Wait. here. Wait. Yeah. She doesn't, she, she doesn't even know where she is technically. Ah, right, sure. Feel free to improvise as Mono if you want. Mm, yeah. I can't really do improv. So Jova, do you wanna? She's very so, confused. Though, sure, we can tell you that. Ah, uh, hello. Wonder? I seem to have survived. I was kind of dying, but... Remember, we, we don't even know how she died, if it was for a disease she, or... She died of... She, she died of, uh, illness. Insert name here, illness. Oh Insert god, itis. don't make a wish. Hmm? But here's another plot twist. There you go. Yay, Agri's Yay! Kill <laughs> oh, I knew oh, it! That's a okay. good. How did she survive that? I have no idea. Horses have some tough bodies. And also to get to. back with a limp. Well, well, so how about that? The only casualty was Wonder and the Colossi. Well, and these, like, well, like you yourself said, like she always said, these two were completely innocent in all this. Yeah. So what are they gonna do now? Explore, I guess. I mean, yeah, we don't have that much of a choice, so... So we did get our happy ending? <laughs> Alright, uh... We'll, In we'll, memory of... We'll, we'll, we'll get more uh, cutscenes as the credits go along. Um, there you go. Blue Play Games. There you go. Let me let me just explain a bit before this is not final thoughts. Let me just explain a bit of things that uh, may have passed. First of all, the symbolism of the stairs. Uh, it's a thing that Dante established in the Divine Comedy. Uh, going from the left to the right, 
uh, means uh, actually going to para basically reaching paradise up, which is the direction where you go to actually reach up uh, the stairs. But in uh, going the opposite direction, going, going down, means actually descending to hell, which is the primary symbol in Abyss, uh, having making a deal, I wonder making a deal with the de with the devil, basically. That's what it is. Yeah. Second, uh, well, if, if you haven't played it, uh, I'll explain the summary. But basically, this is the basic deconstruction of Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. Yeah. In that context, uh, Link is the sated hero, Zelda has fallen ill and is practically dead, and so our hero has to journey through a quest of uh, uh, gaining power and destroying beings, uh, demons, uh, to gain ultimately the Triforce and feeding his shadow self uh, at the end in order to have uh, Zelda being resurrected and then be happy. But the game literally ends with the curtain closing and Zelda kissing him. Straight ah, forward. Is that the bad guys need his blood to revive Ganon. Yeah, that's that's also the reason commonly. Here, what happened? Our hero, the designated hero, first, it's not even a hero. First of all, he stole the sword, which was uh, basically a taboo, as Lord Demon said. Uh, he doesn't even know how to use a sword, by the way. That's why he's so very clumsy in using it in his movement and everything. Which also means the scene where he pointed it at the Shadow Being at the beginning was a complete bluff. Um, he's not on a way quest because he's basically making a deal with the devil. And I honestly think Wonder, I, I want to think, my heart tells me that Wonder knows about all of this, where this is going. But even so, he's ferociously determined to go along with this and uh, with no turning back just laying uh, these majestic colossi one after the other only for the sake of getting his girlfriend back which again by the way we don't even know what kind of relationship we had um, it's only assuming of course based on what we saw and uh, what we'll see but uh, basically that's the theme of the game it begs despite the having a fantasy set fant setting showing on a more sort of realistic kind of way how things will happen depending on the circumstances showing that uh, a fairy tale is not exactly as uh, idealistic as one may want to portray it. Alright, right, yeah, one more line question. for you. Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. We're, we're getting uh, this. Hey, I'm still alive! I need some help getting across the bridge! Jesus, I need a better haircut. Poor ungodly soul. Which one? Now no man shall ever trespass upon this place again. About yeah, but now I can't get back. <laughs> Should you be alive, if it's even possible to continue to exist in this sealed land. Wow, she is really screwed. Yeah. One day, perhaps, you will make atonement for what you've done. Uh, he's dead. But they're alive. One's oh, yeah. got a limp, and the other keep is. In, uh, to add to what Teo just said, keep in mind, obviously, with g games like Nier, Nier Automata, and uh, and a lot of games nowadays like to do the whole, you know, having yeah, the player. Was a, pioneer in this regard. A, a lot of games nowadays like to have the player question the morality of what he's actually doing. This was the first game to do. Come on, this game came out in 2005 on the PS2. Back when no games did this, this was the first game to really pioneer that kind of thing where you start to question if what you're doing is actually a good thing or not. But anyway, so yeah, did anything of Poor Wonder actually survive? <laughs> I wonder. Let's see. Remember, we Let's just wait. We did just. There we go. It. He a baby uh, with horns. He got reverted to a baby, but why does he keep the horns? As a testament uh, to the sin that he committed. So, congrats! Your lover is now going to be and, your son. Uh, as explained partially, these marks, uh, these cements, uh, this title is the first. Uh, in the timeline yeah. that has been built up. Basically, Jove and Shiroi, the protagonist of Eco is a boy with horns. Oh my it's not, god. It's not wonder. I can tell you, Eco is not wonder. No, it's but that's a big though, it? Eco, It's uh, heavily wonder, implied, yes. It's heavily implied and said that wonder will be the first of an entire descendants of person with people with horns. Now, yeah. how does this connect to The Last Guardian? Well, that's the thing. Horns in general are a symbol of dormant in itself. They're a symbol of malicious and evil energy, which is the same color, the shade, shade of blue, that's also being used for crafting the barrels, 
for the energy used by the guards, and also for Trico's ore. Yeah. What I, what people generally believe, and I also do believe that, is that uh, Last Guardian, I do think it, it, may, it doesn't need a, a particular place in the timeline. It can be happening at the same time as Eco. But the general headcanon is that uh, uh, the descendants of... Uh, Wonder. Of Wonder, basically, generates the human, obviously. But the malice of uh, of one of uh, Dormin still lingers and infects other things. And keep in mind, uh, the entire cage inside that gigantic mountain uh, hmm. in Last Guardian was made with the same architecture of the civilization in order to contain this kind of energy and embrace it oh. and using the Trico creatures to do it. So that's how it's connected. For me, it's the fact that the civilization who built uh, that uh, nest, the nest of that's what it's called. Uh, used uh, the power of the energy, part of the energy of Dormin to sustain itself and to create uh, these creatures, the Trikos. Uh, that's why also they have horns. Basically, it's, it's all a matter of symbolism and how things are kind of connected to each other. That's why Last, of, Last Guardian can be oh, considered... Look, a, we found a, Bambi! Yeah, Wait, that's what, is that that's so exactly, wildlife here? No, that, what? that's the thing, Jova. That's exact was exactly my thought. I, I would say, wait, are we getting a Disney sequence at the end? Not <laughs> like, just that. Uh, Basic Jova, she Basic Jova. Since they opened the door, she was able to climb to the top of the temple, and apparently, there's still life in the top of the temple. Let me guess, they're gonna form their own civilization, which are later going to be the civilization in Nico. Similar, basically. Yeah, that, that's implies, the primary theory, yes. Eco implies that the civilization of horned people eventually tried to try to integrate itself with the humans, but the humans did not like it. They saw it as a yeah. A lot starting with this, I'm, starting after the events of this game, a new legend started going on that. Oh, she's people, no but if you have horns, you're evil. So people with horns are incredibly looked down upon in Hiko. And eventually sealed away, but that's where the plot of Eco will eventually start. For now, it's basically your ending. Wonder is being reduced to a boy, a baby, a baby basically, a toddler, and uh, with uh, his girlfriend and uh, his horse, uh, we'll have to spend at least the rest, at least the first, the next couple of decades here. Wow, so his girlfriend is now his babysitter. This is an, there's another um, That's minor, there's another minor symbolism. Uh, you may have, it, it, the ones we that we which have more a more keen hearing may have noticed, but the name of Dormin is uh, uh, basically an anagram of Nimrod. Who is Nimrod? Basically, a trickster deity of old Celtic folklore. Basically, that's the gist that you can get. Hence, why you should have got the hint that they shouldn't not be trusted in case you did not have enough value. So, anyway, that's about it when it comes to the symbolism. Now, on to the final thoughts. Who wants to start? Um, I have to PRP, so... Pedro, how about you go first? Sure. Uh, what can I say? Yet another work of genius by Fumito Ueda. Uh, uh, like, like uh, keep uh, this game broke so much ground when it first came out, and it's a classic for all the right reasons. Uh, despite being a very simple story, uh, it manages to do so much with its simple scenario of completely deconstructing not only what Teo said, but in general, just completely deconstructing the basic formula of playing a video game. Sure, I'm a protagonist in a video game, and there, and I have to just, to kill bosses. Of course, that's the correct thing to do. And this game managed, and this game for the first time ever in the industry posed the simple question: Yes, you're supposed to kill the uh, the boss, but sh have you ever thought to think, should you? Like just because you you can do something doesn't mean you should. Exactly. Oh, and by the way, to enter a time attack mode, press R2 in front of a Colossus statue in the shrine. So, yeah, you can try to challenge yourself and try to defeat... Oh, yeah, and now we get New Game Plus and a new exclusive feature to the remake, Mirrored World, which literally mirrors uh, the world game in true Zelda style. So, uh, that's nice. Okay, so, yeah, like I was saying, again... Uh, Last Guardian was an emotional story. This is definitely a, a, a plot for the brain. Uh, it, it's it's a great deconstruction of the basic video game structure, and uh, perfectly uh, manages to to be told purely through the visuals, the music, and the gameplay. The the, the cutscenes are only used when strictly necessary, 
and it manages to uh, do all of that absolutely brilliantly in my opinion the br the brilliant way he uh way that directs the game um the music is absolutely phenomenal and perfectly complements every single moment of the game be it uh, a tense a tense moment or a sweet moment or whatever it is um and it's just an overall brilliant, brilliant deconstruction of the basic video game structure. That and it was the pioneer of a lot of things that do. nowadays with the games do this all the time. But don't forget, this this game did it before it was cool and did it well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and uh, that's for the original game. Uh, but another thing that we also have to compliment is the remake itself. This is the greatest remake of a video game ever made. I mean, uh, we've already established how Bluepoint went to the point of literally porting the PS2 code to, for the for the uh, into the PS4 just for the for the extent of being as faithful as possible as you can physically possibly can. Um, while at the same time doing just enough to improve the experience with tighter controls, less frustrating uh, mechanics, an extra easier mode for the sake of uh, people uh, being able to play a bit more, you know, not ha not feel as pressured as uh, the normal mode would, would have you do, and being able to, it, will make, it makes the game a lot easier for newcomers, but of course the normal mode and the hard mode from the original are still there. Um, and it uh, and the visuals are astonishing. Like this is a remake of a PS2 game. However, it stands as one of the best technical showcases for the PlayStation 4 consoles. This game looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that it run it's an open world game that runs at a flawless 1080p, 30 frames per second on the base PS4, and runs flawlessly at 1080p in 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 4 Pro is a true demonstration of how Bluepoint games are coding magicians. Uh, and even on the PS4, you can also bump the resolution up to 4K. It will reduce the frame rate to 30 FPS, but you get to enjoy the visuals even in even better quality. Aside, mm. from, aside from that, like it's a true, t uh, it's a true testament to Bluepoint's uh, expertise in like the, the absolute number one authority in video game preservation. And uh, and all I can say is that I cannot wait to know what remake they're doing after this because they've already proven that they, they've already proven that they're the absolute masters of the remaster. Now with this game, they've proven that they're the masters of the remake. So where can they go from here? Who knows? Sky's the limit, I guess. Yeah, sky's the limit. All right, mm -hmm. uh, Jova, you want to go next since you seem to be back? Uh, actually, someone else going next. I got a burp again. Good. Sure, I don't have much to say anyway, but everything Pedro said, although to be honest, even if you aren't familiar with um, deconstructions for whatever reason, the game pretty much makes it very clear that yeah, maybe you shouldn't be doing what you're doing, you know? Please. But you do it anyway because... It's a video it's game. game. It's a video game, we can do what we <laughs> want. But at what cost, people? Come on. <laughs> No, this uh, this was fantastic. I really enjoyed this. All right. I don't really have much else to say. The music is okay, I'm back though. now. Go ahead, Joe. Ben. All right, yeah. Looking at this as the game itself, what's well, quite a nice, interesting concept here. Granted, some things are a bit vague, but, you know, for the most part, it gets done when it needs to get done here and there. Like... I don't know how to feel about Wonder as a character. Like, holy cow, dude. Holy cow. <laughs> I'll give him this. He's determined. Of course, determination can be used for both good and evil. So, yeah, the story is simple, but it's very bold in what it does with it. I can appreciate that. For the time, it was probably nearly unheard of to question your morality in a video game. Yeah, 2005, <coughs> remember. This game came out back in 2005. No other game before this. This I mean, Nowadays, games do this all the time, but this was the game that definitely pioneered it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, in terms of other stuff it pioneered, it's a pretty good boss rush game, you know. Yeah. The bosses, for the most part, seem to be enough fun, and, you know, a battle of wits here and there, and I can appreciate that. Boss design is good, 
concept is nice and unique. What more can I ask for? And as a remake, it's definitely one of the fondest I've seen in maintaining the spirit of the original. Mm -hmm. While at the same time improving on the lesser aspects. Mm -hmm. So yeah, outstanding. Indeed. Go ahead, Taylor. Right, finish us off. Pretty much what also everyone has said, I, again, like I mentioned in The Last Guardian, this is my favorite of the trilogy so far of uh, the game that involves this particular setting. But uh, that's the thing. Uh, I mostly prefer it from a gameplay also standpoint. Uh, um, I'm still enjoyed the puzzle like nature of The Last Guardian and while I, it, it hasn't aged at all, uh, I can see at least the attempt behind Ico. But this particular one gives enough, uh, uh, giving us kind of like candy, giving us candy, giving us merit to both uh, who wants to be engaged by the story, ironically enough, by not giving that much in doing during the presentation, uh, and through combat because these bodies, these bosses are actually challenging uh, and actually give you makes you have to think how to actually approach them and actually to get to them. Uh, there's also the emotional factor. I could argue that uh, maybe a lot of stuff gets thrown too much at, at the same time at the end. Uh, like, for example, I wouldn't be completely fine if Agro was actually dead and not uh, brought back to life as well. But I get the symbol is behind the fact that, again, like Pedro said, Agro was... Kind of a in, Garden in, of in, Eden in, sort of thing. Yeah, not just, that, uh, not just that. Not just that. Agro was innocent in all of this, so the one that needs Dina to be punished the most was Wonder for his. And he looked like he got punished. Oh mm. well, that's the thing, Jova. His punishment is a repercussion that happens through the ages, as uh, yeah. the other video games uh, manage to pay. Yeah, um, remember, Jova, yeah, because, yeah, Jova, because of his one, well. because of this one individual's actions, Jova, an entire race is going to be persecuted and looked down upon in Eco and Last Guardian. Well, it's technically a race that was started too. Go figure. Yep. But yeah, basically, I really love this game, and I have to commend the fact that Blue Point did such a fantastic job in uh, remaking this underground. Uh, you still can get uh, minor fun stuff from random glitches here and there, but again, for like the 99.99% uh, of this game is so astounding and probably the way that the way that originally visioned this as a concept, uh, you know, to transport into a video game. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy that this has happened. And, and like Pedro mentioned, I really can't wait to see what uh, Bluepoint will do next. We don't have, at the time of this recording, we don't have that much hints to go around. We know only The only the hint they've given us is, it's something that millions this. are expecting, they say. And also they said that it's bigger than the, this remake we just did. That's why it's also taking a bit longer. So, I'm really curious, to be honest. Yeah. I wonder, what if they're working on the... The, pri the, the, the primary theory the... is uh, Metal Gear Solid 1. So a lot of people are... Uh, are uh, uh... I've thought of Demon Souls, but uh, that's the thing. With the Dark Souls remaster and everything, I'm not sure if From Software wants to uh, repropose in Demon Souls already. But my theory originally was Eco, but uh, that game is clearly not as big as this one, so even far from being even bigger. So I think that's out of the question, at least for the moment. But again, we shall see in due time. Mm -hmm. For the meantime, uh, there you go, Pedro sends a lobby. Oh, one thing mind. that I'd like to say, Joe, okay, going back to E3 2015. Uh, all right, Jova, uh, keep in mind, after this game came out, Fans of this tr of this series of games had to wait uh, all those years for Last Garden, and now you have a greater understanding of why that game was so eagerly awaited and so and so. Because it was a sequel to the trilogy. Well, because well, because it's from to Weda, and I mean, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus marked uh, like like touched the hearts of an entire generation of gamers. And uh, m m me and mine included, because I actually played these games when it, they first came out. Not so much with Shadow Eco, Crosses but was his first, right? No, no, Eco was the first one in two thousand one, and oh, then and then and then, and then and uh, then this and then Shadow of the Colossus uh, in two thousand five. This, of course, was the game that made me away the fan, uh, just because of how completely brilliant this game is. And again, this was, of course, one of the again, like I said, the, this these games touched the hearts of millions and millions of gamers in the early 2000s. 
So obviously fans of these games uh, had a, a long, long, arduous wait for The Last Guardian. And like I said in, in our final thoughts of Last Guardian, as far as I'm concerned, it was worth every single second that I waited. But I if agree. You, but if you want more details, uh, check out our Last Guardian playthrough. All right. Shameless plug, but yeah. <laughs> All right, then. All right, everybody. Tune in so, for whatever Blue Point makes next. We'll see what yeah. it is. And... and maybe... And equal for and, if, these, and eventually we'll do and eventually I'll get dust off my PS3 remaster by Blue Point of Eco because Blue Point also remastered Eco for the PS3 so we'll do that as well unless of course there's a remake is somewhere in between we shall see we'll see all right see you see ya.